So how can I feel charged? How can I feel energized again? That's a question that many of you may be asking recently um, because many of you have been busy, not taking holidays, constantly working and feeling tired, feeling overwhelmed. And so this episode is really about the number one thing that you can do to feel great again and live meaningful and purposeful life. Hi, my name is Sylvia. I am a life performance and career coach and um, I would like to welcome you to this episode if you are here for the first time. Um, please subscribe if you haven't done yet so and um, leave me a comment or question if you have any. So without further ado, we are getting started. So we have a lot of things on our to-do lists, in our priorities. We've got little goals and dreams that we would like to achieve in our lives, right? And one of the things is to how to really navigate, right? To go through life without feeling overwhelmed, without feeling stressed, but really to enjoy life, right? That's really the point, that you just want to wake up every day and have a great view of what the next day is or if you have a challenge you know how you can deal with this challenge and so from my perspective the number one thing i do when i feel overwhelmed and busy and just out of life you know there is nothing left um it's definitely connect so connection is a key you can connect either with yourself through self-care through being kind to yourself um, and doing other things, or you can connect with others. Please keep watching because this is really important. You may think that this is obvious and ob that you know you, these things are nothing new, but actually this is something what we neglect the most. We neglect the connection. We neglect the taking breaks and uh, going for a walk, reading that book, calling friends or family, um, just taking break and be kind to ourselves is actually the most important thing that you can do if you feel overwhelmed and if you just want to get more energy in life. So um, think about it. Think about how you can actually increase the connection in your life. What can you, the question for you, for you will be for me, what can you do to increase and um, improve the connection with yourself that you already have. Is it about your self-care? Is it about your um, including your um, reading the books? Or is it something about physical health, right? Is it something about mental health? Is it something about physical health? Is it something about your relationships and with others? Right, so who you need to contact first? Who is your friend um, in, um, or partner in crime? Let's say who is your friend that or family member you, you can call, and who is be, who will be always there for you and who will be able to listen to you? Think about who you can also create new connections with because everything new we need novelty in life. And novelty is a very very important la uh, part of life, and so how and where you can create connection. So um, I'd like to encourage you to think, take a break, and that's fantastic, you're here, you're taking a break uh, from your busy life, and I would like to um, congratulate you uh, for that. And um, think about where exactly the connection can be improved, increased, and let me know how your life has changed um, for the better. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon.